Yeah, so currently we have quite positive equity markets. So the fund is reasonably fully invested uh, as, as we enter Q2 of 2021. Um, when we look at the investments, the, light, the way we would like to show how the fund position is really our investments by theme or investments across our different areas of interest. We don't really show the fund by country or by sector. We really show it by these areas of interest. And so when you look at these areas of interest, we're really trying to identify the big structural changes that are occurring in the world today. Um, which will ultimately drive earnings growth and drive share price growth. And so as we look across this slide today, you'll see that digital enterprise is the largest area of interest in the fund. It makes up nearly 15% of the fund across nearly six holdings, of which most of them are effectively cloud computing companies like ServiceNow, Atlassian, Twilio. But we also include things like Microsoft in there. And we really do think that this, this digital transformation that accelerated through 2020 will continue into 2021. Next biggest area is climate. Uh, and I would not be surprised to see climate eventually be the biggest area in the fund as the year progresses. From our point of view, we do think the impetus behind the decarbonisation of the planet is only getting stronger. And here we see a number of companies, in fact, more companies that are much earlier in their stage of growth, where we see strong structural growth in the years ahead, and that'll ultimately equal strong structural share price growth. Um, after that, we run with high performance computing, which is semiconductors. Here, these are the really leaders or the weapons manufacturers in the war that we see in terms of semiconductors, not just between the big companies of the world, but also between the countries of the world in China and the US. And there you're looking at companies like ASML, TSMC, Micron. Um, internet disruption has still been in the fund for a long time, still a great area of, of interest for us. And here we really focus on, on, on obviously companies like Google, which are the big ones, but some of the newer ones coming along like Spotify and Uber. And then beyond that, we have digital payments and emerging consumer. Digital payments we've talked about for a long time. Um, it's clearly around fintechs at the moment. Uh, PayPal is the leading company there that we like. And emerging consumer is really coming back into the fund as we speak now, because obviously as travel starts up and spending starts up, a number of these holdings around aerospace and luxury goods can start to look attractive again. Now, in every one of these cases, we expect strong earnings growth in them, not just next year, but in the years ahead. And we ultimately expect the share prices to follow that earnings growth, and that'll ultimately help us drive returns in the months and years ahead.